टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्रेशर दैट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर नाउ यू आर अवेयर अबाउट टेम्परेचर यू आर अवेयर अवेयर अबाउट हाउ टू मेजर आउट द प्रेशर इन जोग्राफी वी आर यूजिंग कंसेप्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मिली बार एंड जनरली वी आर कंसिडरिंग दैट 982 एटी टू मिली बार दैट इज इक्वेल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन इंचेस ऑफ मर्क्यूरी सो दैट कंसिडरेशन शुड बी देअर इन माइंड नाउ अर्थ इज हैविंग रोटेशनल मोशन एज वेल एज रिवोल्यूशनरी मोशन यू कैन चेक आउट सपोज वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग अर्थ in my general diagrams i am drawing north pole here and south pole here but now i am fixing camera at top suppose i am observing from this way then this is north pole south pole is not there in picture hmm. here in given time say particular point is here suppose somebody is here in given time it will complete entire circle the given time is 24 hours approximately in that this point will rotate around this and it will travel this much of distance but on equa uh, sorry on north pole it will remain only rotating around itself so rotational motion whatever the observed on north pole is zero exactly on north pole that is zero but this is equator on equator it is maximum i want to give you simple illustration don't do this experiment at home but just imagine uh, there is ceiling fan and you are touching center point of ceiling fan like bhagwan sri krishna so if you are touching this way at center point don't do but suppose then you will feel the motion is almost 10 to 0 at center but if unfortunately your hand is going in periphery of the fan then you will experience tremendous force given by that blade of fan because their velocity is maximum same thing is there for earth that at north pole we are having very 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 low speed of rotation exactly on north pole speed of rotation is zero other experiment on globe of earth itself what are the models are there globe of earth uh, it is pinned up axis is there a uh, small wire where globe is having zero motion whereas at equator it is having maximum motion so simply you must uh, have this consideration right now that earth if i am drawing this way now this is north pole and this is south pole this is equator so uh, not east uh, this is equator so this is south pole and north pole experiencing zero speed whereas on equator rotational speed of earth is maximum now there is a motion we are calling that as uh, force we are calling that as centrifugal force because of that air or air mass on equator is experiencing highest velocity it tends to move out from land and so we are getting here the motion in this way it is moving in outward direction so this is earth uh, atmosphere is like this so uh, air tries to go outside two reasons are basically there you are aware average temperature of equator region is very high and gases having higher temperature tends to move at upside and second reason that is also important because of the rotational motion of earth that air goes towards north side uh, sorry goes towards a higher altitude so going away but uh, at 30 degree north and 30 degree south so this is 0 degree 
then I am showing here belt around 30 degree this air start descending out 30 degree north and 30 degree south so this belt is 30 degree north and this is 30 degree south so air is ascending in equator region whereas descending in this 30 degree region now same way here we are experiencing another effect this is 60 degree north and this is 60 degree south whereas this is exact pole now on polar region air is descending out descending means coming towards pole as velocity here is zero it is descending out here also it is descending out for that purpose air from this side is displaced and we are getting air is moving in this side up this is going to down this side up and this side down so this way uh, at 60 degree north and 60 degree south air is moving up whereas in polar region it is going down as a result this planetary pattern is of pressure is produced this is called as planetary distribution of pressure the zone where 60 degree north and 60 degree south air is moving outside as a result here we are getting areas of low pressure uh, here i want to just change out certain colors uh, here i am showing this area of high pressure uh, the red color i am showing low pressure area here convergence is there so here high pressure belt same way here also convergence is there so i must show here also low pressure belt again here high pressure belt uh, sorry high pressure belt low pressure belt again high pressure so simply try to get that blue color line indicate high pressure belt red color line indicate low pressure belt now here just check out again i want to revise on equator uh, sorry on polar region air is descending out because motion is zero on equator air is ascending it is thrown away of earth because very high speed uh, approximately 1600 kilometers per hour is rotational speed at equator region so it is going out but water descended it is uh, ascended this is coming to down around 30 degree so at 30 degree there is high pressure belt in polar descending so high pressure belt whereas red color line indicate air is moving away and therefore we are getting here low pressure belts in this area this part is called as distribution of pressure that is planetary distribution of pressure supposed to be but it is not entirely true certain ups and downs are there why because land mass and air mass changes in northern hemisphere we are having more land mass than water body in southern hemisphere we have more water body than land mass and then temperature etc plays important role uh, again perihelion and aphelion position of earth that is also playing some important role over here uh, you can just check out in month of january uh, earth is at perihelion position in northern hemisphere it is winter and in winter only it is going close to sun but in southern hemisphere it is summer and in summer for them earth is going close to sun that means um, more insulation is received as a result uh, summer in south hemisphere should be more stronger than north hemisphere in south hemisphere uh, land mass is comparatively less parts of africa parts of south america australia new zealand and antarctica continent is there Whereas in North Hemisphere, 
एंटायर यूरेशिया कॉन्टिनेंट दैट इज द मैसिव नॉर्थ अमेरिका नॉर्थ अफ्रीका ऑल दिज इंक्लूसिव ऑफ जपान आईलैंड ऑल दिज पार्ट इज देर इन नॉर्थ हेमिस्फियर एज ए रिजल्ट लैंडमार्स इज टेन टू राइज टेम्परेचर मोर एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज बैलेंस आउट इन विंटर सीजन इन साउथ हेमिस्फियर सन इज एपेरिंग एट अप हेलियन पोजिशन दैट इज अवे फ्रॉम सन अर्थ इज अवे फ्रॉम सन एंड दैट्स वाय इन समर सीजन दे फेस मोर हीट सपोज टू बी बट नॉट एंड लेस टेम्परेचर बट वॉटर बॉडी इज डेयर टू बैलेंस आउट टेम्परेचर अगेन सो दीज आर द केसेस सो दीज केसेस आर कंट्रोलिंग आउट वेरियस सिच्युएशन ऑफ दीज प्रेशर बेल्ट्स स्टील the pressure belts are swinging in nature they are moving up and downs uh, say for example the apparent motion of sun is towards north hemisphere that means in summer season they also tend to move towards north side and apparent motion of sun is towards south or tropic of capricorn then they are also tend to move towards south so this is called as swing or seasonal migration of pressure belts now uh, we have to discuss this is just theoretical part uh, global pattern of isobars keep in mind uh, when i am talking about isotherm therm stands for temperature isobar uh, it is not there in chemistry right now hmm? in chemistry or physics isobar is having different meaning but here in geography uh, we are having places having similar pressure like that word is used that is called as isobar uh, like temperature we corrected out temperature at particular place try to guess suppose particular place is having altitude at 4800 meter then i have to divide it by 160 meter for every 160 meter there is fall of temperature by 1 degree celsius like that i have to calculate actual temperature at sea level at particular place same correction factor i have to implement over here try to guess in mercury barometer mercury level falls by 1 mm if we are a uh, rising altitude by 160 meters so this is basic idea that because of this temperature uh, sorry pressure also falls down at higher altitude so uh, if i am there at 4800 meter altitude and i am getting some pressure say for example uh, xyz pressure is there then i have to check divided by 160 uh, you will get answer as 30 so actually that place is having pressure 30 mm more at sea level suppose that spot is there this is called as sea level correction and then we have to make say for example this is some x y z map i have to join place having similar pressure so this way on map i have to join places where similar pressure is there and then i have to draw a line this type of line is called as isobar so keep in mind isobar or what are the curves obtained we are calling them as isobar now isobars are having places on earth having similar pressure now uh, in form of july isobars bend to north why july because sun is going towards north hemisphere uh, apparent moment and so in july isobars are moving bending towards north side and in january isobars are moving or bending towards south side this is called as seasonal shift and uh, that is depend on thermal constant also now we are talking about pressure and wind wind is flow in air air flows from areas of higher pressure to lower pressure because when there is creation of vacuum actually not vacuum we can consider areas uh, having low pressure so from high pressure 
suppose here I am showing area of high pressure and here it is area of low pressure uh, no doubt here also decreasing pressure is there so direction of wind is always from high pressure area to low pressure area what is the speed of wind speed of wind will be difference between pressure we are calling this as pressure gradient as difference between high pressure and low pressure is more speed of wind is more and if it is less the speed of wind is also less this is basic reason why winds are there now uh, it is expected that here high pressure areas are there whereas here low pressure areas are there and therefore the wind direction should be like this uh, keep in mind I am using word should be like this but uh, as we are expecting this is direction it is not say earth is having rotational velocity and because of that certain impacts are there on direction of wind there is deflective phenomena deflection means change in path so there is deflective phenomena known as Coriolis effect what is Coriolis effect the direction of wind that is affected by rotation of earth that is called as Coriolis effect uh, as a law certain part we have to discuss that is called as Farrell's law according to Farrell's law direction of wind in north hemisphere changes towards right side of the expected direction and in south hemisphere it is towards left side of the expected direction I am revising Farrell's law in north hemisphere direction of wind deflected towards right side of its expected direction that means this is north hemisphere say I am making here clear cut distinguish part this is north hemisphere and this is south hemisphere in north hemisphere direction of wind is this because of Farrell's law and Coriolis effect the direction should change towards right side of its expected direction so right side of its expected direction is this uh, don't consider this way hmm? in this direction it is moving towards right of that that means this direction so in green color I am showing expected direction and in red color I am showing observed direction now this is southern hemisphere in south hemisphere what Farrell's law says uh, expected direction uh, whatever the direction of wind is there little bit left towards the uh, again from expected direction so this is the expected direction so this moves in this direction this is called as Farrell's law so accordingly I have to point out now pattern so I am removing now these signs expected and observed we are focusing only on observed part you can check out here this is the direction of wind in north hemisphere uh, high to low I am showing here everywhere uh, pressure from high pressure to low pressure but same way here also low pressure is there and so wind should flow from this to this now this is southern hemisphere what Farrell's law says it should move towards left so uh, in this direction left is this and so we are getting wind direction in this way now again here this is high pressure belt and this is low pressure so it should move in this direction but no this is south hemisphere so it should move towards left and so wind direction observed is something like this now go to northern hemisphere here high pressure is here low pressure so from high pressure to low pressure we have to move so this is the expected direction but this is north hemisphere as it is north hemisphere I must say that its direction changes towards the right side of the expected direction and this way we are getting this is the direction of wind same way high pressure to low pressure 
so high pressure to low pressure this is the direction but no as it is uh, north hemisphere it should move towards right side and we are getting this is the direction so this is the way wind should be produced this is the pattern of wind expected here so this pattern whatever i am drawing here this is called as planetary wind why this is expected as only basis on pressure 